Welcome back to another video, you lovely souls. Have you noticed yet? Have you looked in the mirror and noticed how rare you are? You are so rare. And there's something so special about you. You are far from being normal. You are quite not like everyone else. We are all one. We are all unique in our own way. But you lovely souls are rare. You are hard to come by. People probably easily took you for granted in their lives. They're probably looking around now like they can see and know the difference when you were there in their lives. And now that you're not there, they're feeling it now. It's all starting to present itself to them in their lives. You see, a lot of people thought the grass uh, was greener on the other side. But it ain't green on the other side if you're still not aware of what lessons that are appearing themselves into your life and that you must not hide from them. A lot of people think the grass was green on the other side whenever they you, you cut them off or they cut you off or however it ended or walked away from. However that happened, they thought, they thought it was going to be worse for you and better for them. But I hate to say this, but it's definitely been vice versa because you are rare. You are not normal. You are far from normal. You are not like everyone else. You see, that's why people be feeling like this void. Like within their hearts when, when they miss you, when you're not around, they're always thinking about you because of how rare you are. And because they've noticed anybody that they meet in their lives ain't not, ain't quite like you. And so every time they start remembering you, there was something about you. You are so rare. You are not normal. You are not like others. You're different. And you're unique in your own way, you beautiful, lovely soul. You see, you are very highly sensitive to things that people can easily go jump around and play around and have fun with. I ain't never understand why I used to feel like this. Like, I don't consider myself ever being a shy person. As you can tell how I get on these videos, you guys. I've never been shy. I've always loved to talk. And I, I'm a, I was always a people person. And I still am. And it's just, I choose the certain people I want to have around me like you. And I set boundaries. You feel me? It's just, it's, it's no fun if it's not like-minded. If we not, you know what I'm saying? Sharing energy, reciprocating energy, having a normal conversation. And not lowering myself to meet other people. You feel me? It's different. That's how you feeling now because you are not like everyone else you are far from normal you are rare you're very highly sensitive to things that people easily go have fun with like malls clubs crowded places I never understood even when I used to get drunk I still felt uncomfortable in the clubs like people all around me I just I, I, I call it my center, center thumping right here like, it started thumping and I, I just, that's what I mean like I never was shy but it felt like the only thing I could express as was a shy feeling you feel me but really I used to feel like I want to run up out of these places and I would drink more and more and more to make myself um, have fun in these places feel more comfortable in these places because I felt totally uncomfortable totally I could not go out unless I was drunk that's real talk I was one of those is that you my friend and whenever you uh, would go out or if you still go out do you got to be drunk to be in the clubs like I used to have to be high in the malls and all those types of things now I am aware of how rare I am like you 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 rare soul I am aware of it so now I'm more conscious of it. So I always protect my energy and I always tell myself some things, some mantras before I enter these environments and I stand in my power and that, that helps so much more. You find society is hostile. Like people be doing some hostile stuff out there. A lot of greedy leaders, a lot of stepping on toes, a lot of stabbing in the back, a lot of people hurting feelings for nothing. No reason at all just to shine or just to take something that somebody might have something that uh, they want. They trying to get it by all means because you got to understand, my friends, people hate you because what you got inside of you, they don't have inside of them. They haven't discovered it yet. They haven't figured it out yet. And, and so they hate you for it because you got something that they don't. Ain't that some like kids stuff? That remind me of kindergarten for a moment though. No shade or disrespect to anyone. That's the first thing that came to me. You got what I want. You feel me? So I'm going to treat you like shit. I'm going to hate on you. I'm, I don't like you. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, That's another reason why you find society very hostile. The way people drive and do things out there on the road. You know what I'm saying? You just don't understand. Where's the peace? You feel me? You're an intelligent 
smart soul. You are smarter than the average. And if, you, if you're if you someone who's saying, I'm not smart, baby, you are smart. And I want you to comment that down below. I am intelligent because you are highly intel intelligent. And the more you keep raising your vibration and tapping into that inner genius within you, the more you're going to find that out. You are smarter than the average. You see, many of you had a really struggling path, a really tough path, a really challenging path for a reason. Your path was a lot stronger than any other people you saw around you. You struggled more than other people and you never understood why everybody else seemed to get it easy. Things came easy to them, but it felt like you always run into struggles and challenges and stuff like that around your path because you had a hard path. The stronger the soul, the stronger the path, my friend. You are an intelligent, smart soul. And your path was created for you. That's how powerful you are. Many of you have got out of that darkness. Many of you are moving out of that darkness. Many of you are taking steps out of it now. You're intelligent. You're a wise soul. And you're a strong soul. And that's why your path was the way it is. You are not like average. That's why you saw average people, normal people doing normal things. And it never suited you. It never felt right to you. Because you are not average. You are far from normal. You're a great problem solver. You seem to be able to solve everybody damn problems, bro. Hey, hey, you, if you was like me, you saw everybody problem but your own in the past. <laughs> Let me know down below in the comment section. I had to answer to everybody. Shit, but I couldn't solve nothing on my own. But that's changed. You feel me? That's changed now. But that's the way it used to be. I know I'm just keeping it real up on here. You feel me? You don't like like you don't feel like you belong here sometimes. Sometimes you feel like you're out of place. Like Earth is not your home. Like, you come from a place with loving, compassionate souls, honesty, freedom, not trapped in the human, what you call it, meat suit. You feel me? Like you come from another place and earthly beings can be a quite different. <laughs> and sometimes you feel out of place because you don't like to do the things that other people do. You don't like participating in gossip and, and negativity. And that's the only way you were able to actually fit in. If you were like me who created a character to fit in, to dim my light growing up because I stand it out too bright. Yeah. That's probably you. I created a character to fit in. And the way I fit in was doing matrix shit. Doing shit that everybody else was doing. Because that's all they knew. And that's all I knew. But you feel like you don't belong sometimes. Because you are not involved in what everybody else is doing. It don't, it don't thrill you. It don't excite you. You don't even get fun out of it. You, The simple things in life rock so much with you. You beautiful, lovely soul. You, you are amazing, loving soul. You, you love peace. And you wish everyone could love peace. You're always seeking peace, peace of mind, peace in your life, baby. You love peace. And that's why the hostile environment, <laughs> hostile society can sometimes, I ain't going to say irks you because I don't want to say that word, but it's a bit challenging sometimes being around these people doing a lot of unconscious stuff. You know what I'm saying? And you know the inner peace lies within. And it's like you wish people would go within and find their peace because you know the world will be a better place as we are turning it that way right now, baby, because many people are starting to wake up, baby. Yes. And it's because of you lovely soul standing in your power, being your true, unique self, letting your freak flag show, not giving a damn what people think about you. It's because of you, baby, making changes in your soul it's starting to change the world you heard the vibration is becoming higher on the planet and more souls are waking up you have that power baby you are rare you are far from normal you love to read like me you probably got books everywhere i'm always into books and um, I'm always guided to read more books. I've always liked to read when I was a kid, but it was not books that were more knowledgeable for me that gave me more um, clarity in my journey. You'd be surprised when you be reading books. It's like the right message occurred on the right line throughout the book, or you start to gain some type of clarity that you needed in your life, or you start to get a deeper understanding of a situation that you didn't understand clearly before, only at a surface level. Books is powerful, and it incites your imagination, and you love to read. You like to, I ain't gonna say lose, yourself but you like to get in front of that fireplace if you have one or or just you know I, I like to read on rainy days when I hit the hit the rain hit the window pane you feel me or just sitting outside under a tree you enjoy reading it's amazing to you because you love filling your soul up with knowledge as well and you love to uh, excite your imagination you're very highly intuitive you are rare you see this shit you're rare you are far from normal you're very Highly intuitive, bro. You tapped in, turned on, and tuned in. You feel me? Ain't too much flies by you. You might not say nothing, but you see what's really going on. You see what's really popping. You see how people really be moving. 
Because you're very highly intuitive. You tapped into your inner guidance. You listen. You're obedient. You listen to, to your inner guidance because you already know. You're intelligent. You already know the inner genius is within you that's leading you every step of the way. You know the inner genius within you is truly who you are. Your higher self. The Holy Spirit if you choose to call it that. You already know that because you're an intelligent soul and you're highly intuitive. And that's why you guys are so rare because you tapped in and you always been at the right place at the right time. You always seem to have the right words to say to someone or even to yourself. You seem to always, have you ever noticed that inner knowing? It seemed like you seem to know things that you never knew you knew. I don't know. That makes sense to you guys. You knew things that you never even thought about. You knew and like you use words that you've never used before, which is what reading does to your mind as well. Start learning big words. You start pronouncing these words. Like I mentioned on one of my videos before I had to Google words like, where are they coming from? <laughs> I don't even know these words. You feel me? But you do. Because of these things I'm naming to you here today. You are rare, you lovely, beautiful soul. You human lie detector. You feel me? You can read between the lines of bullshit. You feel me? You can tell some bullshit when it come around. You can, you, you can read between the lines of what people are saying. You can hear what they don't say. You can sense it. You can feel it. You know it's bogus. You know it ain't right. You just know that's that inner knowing, bro. Once again, what I'm talking about, you are wise beyond, beyond your years. How many people have told you, man, you got an old soul or you are so wise. You are wise. See, people got it twisted, right? I ain't going to say they just got it twisted, but all of us, I thought, okay, let me say, this is you's me. I believe that wisdom came with uh, being old, right? When you got older, not because you, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to shade because that's not what I'm getting at. Let me change that again. I thought wisdom came with like, oh, if it's your grandma, she older than, than she has wisdom. What I learned to realize that wisdom is not even what that 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 truly means because as you can notice you guys it doesn't even matter if you ha you know your grandmother is older than you or not you start or your mother's older than you your father you know what i'm saying they're all older than you but you always realize and notice that you are a bit wiser than them you see what i'm saying because you are wise beyond your year in this meat suit you gotta age but your soul is oh you hear you feel me you waist showing you feel me you truth seekers <laughs> your gatekeepers and you know the elderly who are aware of themselves aware of life who are consciously aware say all respect all respect to all elderly all respect you feel me no shade or nothing but it's just that you in this meat soon you might have a certain young little age and a young little, little look but you are wise beyond your years my friends you are deeply if you like me <laughs> and you are not normal you are rare you are into conspiracy theories i don't go too deep down that rabbit hole and i don't believe everything that i see but i believe what resonates to me because it just hits deep it's like the inner knowing again it's like you start reading something knowing something it's like it makes sense bro you know, a lot of shit in this matrix don't even make sense. A lot of negativity don't make sense. A lot of why we react and do things never make sense. And when you start going down the conspiracy theory, what they call it, road, and you started, you start, you, you're into it. You know what I'm saying? You're into it. What's going on? What's going on behind the scenes? What's this? What's that? And you take what resonates to you and it, it literally... It's cool, right? It's cool, but other normal people would not think that that's cool at all. They would think you're weird, and that's okay because you are rare. You are not like normal. You are far from normal, baby. Let me know down below how you feeling this video right now today. I, I, I went in into some deeper things to let you know how rare you are today. Change it up a little bit. Say, you guys, there's something I do want to say to y'all. Like, you are, are so rare. And far from normal, you be having out of body experiences, bro. Like in your when you sleep, you probably be astral traveling to different places in the world that you want to go to. But one, I've never known. Let me know if you've experienced this. I never knew you can have like this out of body experience while you woke. I had one last week, and I felt paralyzed in my body. I started seeing orbs all in my eye that seemed like glitter. And I was just like, felt like, what the heck? And I was trying to read on my phone something on YouTube and I couldn't see nothing. I had to put the phone down. And I noticed that my consciousness was alert and aware and I was there. But I noticed like my body wasn't right. Like, it wasn't functioning properly. And I, didn't, I felt paralyzed. That's the best I could say it. Now the doctor, you feel me? Disclaimer, disclaimer. But you be having out of body experiences, bro. Don't nobody be living like that, bro. <laughs> but you, because you are far from normal, my friends. You feel me? You consciously. 
consciously aware of so many things and it was always meant for you to be where you are exactly right now no matter where you are you are on the right path to discover thyself my friends and that's what it's all about you feel you have a mission in this lifetime you know you came here to do something bigger than you you know there's a big mission and you've been searching for it your whole life. You knew this even when you were asleep. Even when you was in the dark, you knew you was going to do something many people didn't understand that was very rare, that, that, that wouldn't make sense to many people. You didn't know what it was. You may have had an idea throughout your life, but you know you have a mission. A purpose to do, live in, and a mission here on this planet, bro. In this lifetime, you know it and you can feel it. Even if you haven't found it yet, that doesn't mean that you're wrong, my friends. It's inside of you and you're on the path to discovering it right now. Confirmation. In case anyone felt like they needed to know that because I feel like someone needed to know that. Because again, you got psychic senses that is opening up. Psychic gifts that open up that always been there for you. They just been blocked off. A lot of things going on in our mind. A lot of energy around us. A lot of things that need to clear up in our body. We start to access all these things that's always been with us, within us. You probably had a lot of paranormal activity. You probably seen ghosts. You could probably see angels. You could probably see What's in the darkness at times, bro? I know I could. Ain't nothing to be scared of. That's just who you are. You are rare, far from normal. These types of things you feel like you could never have a conversation with a normal person with because they would freak out on you. <laughs> they wouldn't understand, so you kept a lot of these things in within yourself. And some of you feel like, hey, thanks, Kelly. I didn't even understand these things, some of these things. And you really went in on it today and helped me clarify some things in my life, knowing that, hey, I am far from normal. I'm I'm not like everybody else. I'm rare. And that's okay to embrace and love my weirdness. You feel me? Another thing, you're a dreamer, baby. Always daydreaming. Been daydreaming your whole life. You probably was daydreaming in class. Your teacher probably told you, hey, snap out of it. Stop daydreaming. You always daydream. I still do it to this day. I daydream in class. I didn't even know what the heck was going on. I would escape by daydreaming. And looking at things I wanted to do, I would see things before it happened. You're, 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 uh, you have a lot of deja vu moments. And you're aware of them. You've always been aware of these moments, even if you didn't even know what they meant. You, you, you see things before it happened. You probably expect, man, I feel like I've been here before. Somebody may say something. You might, man, I heard that before. You feel me? Like what I'm saying right now? Because you're rare. You're far from normal. You love nature. You know you are one with nature. Nature is healing. Nature is peaceful to you. You sun gaze. You feel me? Now the doctor disclaimer, disclaimer. You feel me? You love nature. I love nature. Like I just, I'm thinking I want to live in an area where it's always sunny, spring like weather. You feel me? Because you connected to the weather. You know that. I don't want to be messing with the weather and stuff. You heard? You connected to the weather. You know when it's rainy and stuff, you gotta make sure you don't add meaning to the weather and start feeling gloomy and shit. Cause you that sun rider. You feel me? Sun gazer. You know what I'm saying? You're very spiritual ass. Fuck. You heard? You believe in God and you believe all is one, my friends. You all up into the spirituality that's why many of you watching this video right now it's been a challenge to find someone to connect with to understand you to have a real conversation with you being yourself being who you are like i'm having with you right here today baby because you're so spiritual and you probably question what's wrong with you nothing you're just rare you're not like the average you're far from normal my friend you're very empathic you can feel what other feels which is why it's not that easy for you to be around people who are sad or people who always cry out their problems and complaining because no matter what you know they might be complaining you, you you know you can feel where they are you know where they are it still hit you a little bit you feel me so you still kind of stay away from these types of people because no matter what you still feel for them because you're empathic you can feel what they feel as if you experienced it as well bro that's that gift you rare everybody can't do that because if they could a lot of things would have changed on this planet right now. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? You always searching for your life purpose. Many people, even in my coaching program, one of the things they want to know is what is their life purpose. You always searching for your life purpose, bro. And knowing that you got to get on the path to discovering that, to discovering thyself, to discovering your purpose, your mission, bro. You have, you know, there's something bigger to life than just what what has been presented to you out here in this major. You know, there's something bigger. And one bonus I want to give to you today is for well, something I just learned myself is that you have low blood pressure in a healthy way. No shade, no no doctor disclaimer disclaimer, but you have a lower blood. Blood, blood pressure not a low like as far as like 
you know, what's it called? Hypoglycemia. I don't know. Correct me down if I'm wrong in the comment section. Whatever it means when you have a low blood pressure. Not that. Just you have a low normal, low normal blood pressure. Just like, it's like the worst coming to me is just like perfect. You know, you got low blood pressure. And so you got low body temperature. Let me know if you be getting easily cold and easily hot, bro. Because I have noticed this as I increase the heck out of my vibration. I notice I be getting cold all the time. My hand cold right now, bro. For real. They be mad because I be, they don't be mad. But they be like, why you always got the heat on? I mean, I got bought my own personal heater. I keep my own personal heater right by me. It's like, and I got the AC on, bro. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm cold or hot. This is real talk, bro. This is real talk because you are rare you are far from normal you're not like others bro i've even went to the doctor before for something that started happening on my skin and the information they gave me was false it was some spiritual stuff bro stuff be happening within you that spiritual don't know doctor understand unless they're a spiritual doctor and done the work they so disclaimer no shade love you all baby real talk if you find messages here you rare lovely soul far from normal not average looking soul yeah hit that like button baby i greatly appreciate you Y'all already know I miss Kelly Travel Spiritually up in here spreading the word is love and light to all your lovely souls who clicked on this video today. You are rare and keep shining, baby. Keep standing in your power. Keep being uniquely you. Letting your freak flag show. It shows others it's okay to be themselves. So keep being you. That's why I make videos like this. It's okay to be weird. I fucking love it. I love it. I want you to comment down below. I love being weird. I love not being like others. It's amazing. It is so amazing. It's a powerful thing. And this is what we came here to discover. Thyself. Share this video with anyone you want to share this video. Thank you for liking the video. It helps get the video out to more souls who are looking for this message. And if you watching my videos, find a message you see and you have not yet just subscribe consider tapping to the full awareness love and light that i share here with you guys each and every day by hitting that subscribe button and that bell baby i greatly appreciate you all uh, i greatly appreciate you all thank you all for being here and sharing your valuable time with me it is amazing to share my experiences with you to share uh this information with you to share my journey with you and to spread awareness love and light i love you all you beautiful souls thank you for being here come back to see me baby miss kelly travel spiritually checking out peace love and light to all you lovely souls you rare far from normal beings